Hello, welcome to Maths with J. In this example, we're going to find the coefficient of x to the 8 times y cubed in the binomial expansion of half x minus 8y all to the power of 11. So what we need to start with is the general binomial series expansion. So let's just get that. So the important thing here is the general term. So let's just write um, that one down. So we're looking for ncr a to the n minus r b to the r. So now we just need to write down what n, r, a and b are. n is the uh, power, so that's 11. And then we'll come back to r in a moment. Let's first of all write down a. So a is a half x and b will be the minus 8y. Important to put the negative in there as well. And now it's easier to see what r is. r is going to be the power that we're raising the, uh, the y to. So in other words, that's going to be 3. And we can check that that also gives us the right power for x. x is being raised to the power of 8 and that's 11 minus 3 and that's fine. Right, so now we're just uh, going to write down what this is equal to. So we've got 11 c3 and then we're multiplying back that by a half x to the power of 8 and then b is minus 8y and that's to the power of 3. So you can see that when we multiply this out we're going to get some number multiplying x to the 8 and y cubed. In other words we're going to get the coefficient of x to the 8 times y cubed. So that's 11 c3 half to the power of 8 and minus 8 to the power of 3. Notice now I've left out the x and y because I've written the coefficient of x to the power of 8 y cubed is and then it's just going to be whatever this number comes to. So let's input that to the calculator starting off with the 11 and then NCR on the calculator is above the divide. So our answer is minus 330. If you prefer to write this down without using a calculator, then you would have 11 factorial divided by 8 factorial 3 factorial for the 11c3 and then we would have 1 over 2 to the 8 the whole thing is going to be negative because we've got a, a negative being cubed and you could think of 8 as 2 cubed so that would be 2 to the power of 9 wouldn't it really so all those 2s would cancel with 8 of those leaving us with a 2 there so let's tidy it up a bit. So we've got minus 11 times 10 times 9 times 2 divided by 3 times 2 from the 3 factorial. So the 2's cancel. The 3 into 9 gives 3. So we've got minus 11 times 3 times 10. So minus 300, 330 